cut for like three days. They thought it was sweet and started celebrating. They ain't even people I was orchestrating. Raise a toast to the king, it's a special I want the person who feels lonely and isolated and like God doesn't care. I want them to see how amazing Jesus actually is and what God actually did for all of us. So I said, we're going to go to the edge on this. And they said, Pastor, how far on the edge are we going to go? I said, we're going to do everything short of sin. Oh, y'all, I felt the religious people. Their booties got tight right there. Step one, say you a daddy. Okay. But step, step two. She gotta have a fatty. Hey. <laughs> Take her some eggs. Yeah. Look back, Caddy. Uh oh. What is she doing? Friends, I don't have a fatty. True. Girl, we keep telling you it's okay. Your little booty matter too, friends. No, Y'all know they don't be discriminating. <laughs> James says this. He says, You adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is hostility towards God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. So no, you may not wear a yellow and blue checkerboard suit, but I do. And we can be ourselves in this place. And I just thank you, Bishop, for creating the atmosphere for us to have what you're about to see today. In 2015, um, I became the pastor and I didn't know what a pastor did. First Peter 2, 2, he says, like newborn babes long for the pure milk of the word so that by it, you may grow in respect to salvation. If you have tasted the kind of time will come when people will not endure sound doctrine, but rather what they have are itching ears. They want to hear something, see something. What will they do? They will go to find people to preach what they want to hear. I'm to the money. Everybody.